There are dozens of reasons why you might need to share information about you and your team members on your web pages. Whether you just need a page to let visitors know about how to contact you, or you want to share a detailed profile for those looking for more information about you and your work, we've developed a tool that will let you do both and nearly everything in between. We call them profiles and profile listings, and here are just a few examples of different layouts you can create with them. How do they work? There are three basic pieces that we can edit to manipulate our profile lists. One, profile pages. Two, listing pages. Three, the profile snippet. For now, we'll focus on profile pages. A profile page is a standard template of information that you will fill out. These are the building blocks for our listing pages. Anyone with access to OU Campus can create and edit profile pages. Before we even start creating a profile, gather profile images and have them edited and cropped to 300 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. Label your image files using the first part of your WSU email and end with dash 300 by 400.jpg. For example, your first name dot last name dash 300 by 400.jpg. Upload your images to the underscore images folder within the profiles folder in OU Campus. Then be sure to publish your newly uploaded images. When creating a profile, you'll first open your group or department folder within the Profiles folder. Once you've opened your group's folder, click the green New Content button near the top right-hand corner of the page and select New Profile. Complete the fields for name and job info, then click Create. To edit your profile, the left column features the profile image, name, job title, and contact information. These are things that we included when we created our profile. If we want to edit things a little bit further, we'll do that in Properties and Parameters. The right column features an Overview section and an Information section with a long list of additional information categories. Every field is optional, so you can put in as much or as little as you'd like. Portions that you leave blank will not show up on your profile. To edit the overview, simply click on the green Edit Overview button and edit the text in that space. To edit the content within the Information categories, click to open the desired category then click the green Edit button to begin editing that category's content section. Finally, save and exit when you're finished. Once your profile looks the way you want it to look, be sure to publish that page.